Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial for this look right here, which I would call this a sunset-ish, smoky eye. I would say, I'm not really sure what to call this, but it's kind of like a copper smoky eye from afar, but when you get up close, you can really see all the other colors going on that kind of form a halo around the eye. So I did orange tones, um, like rusty orange tones, pinks, reds, coral, and purple. And then the center of it is just this like pop of copper in the center of the lid. I'm sorry that I've been gone for so, so long. I was traveling pretty much the entire month of July. Josh and I went to the south of France, which was Oh, amazing. I've never seen anything like that in my life. It was so beautiful. I've never seen water that blue in my entire life. I now truly know the meaning of Mediterranean, like the term Mediterranean blue. I fully understand what that is now. It's just so beautiful. And then as soon as I got home from France, I jetted off to New Orleans for a while. And then when I got back, I kind of had like a weird thing where I felt like I just needed to go through every single piece of makeup that I owned. Yeah, when I got back, I had probably like 40 at least PR boxes to go through and everything was just stacking up and I felt like it was looming over me and I, I don't know, I honestly felt like I was gonna get eaten alive by makeup at one point. Which honestly, if you think about it, isn't that bad. I could think of worse ways to go. But <laughs> I was just, I don't know, I just felt like I needed to regroup. I feel like I was a little bit in my own head. Sometimes that happens when I travel and I haven't uploaded in a bit. I feel like I need to make a video that's just so amazing to come back with because I haven't uploaded in a little while. And then I get in my own head and I start thinking of all these ideas and then nothing seems good enough and it's just like, why don't you just get back to basics, sit down and film a dang tutorial. So that's what I decided to do today. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you're subscribed and give this video a thumbs up. So if you want to see how to achieve this look right here, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, let's do some makeup. So I'm gonna start off with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm applying that to my lid as my eye base. And what I like to do sometimes is take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light and I'll apply that to the inner corners of my eyes because they can get kind of shadowy and this will help the inner corner highlight pop and just really make you look very awake. So then I'm reaching for the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. I'm gonna be using the shade Tempera to set my lids and then go in with the shade Chickadee by Makeup Geek. This this is like a goldenrod color, kind of a burnt yellow. I have that on the one side and the end of my one of my favorite crease brushes. This is a NYX number 16, and I'm just applying it into the crease and bringing it down onto the lid as well. So I'm going to diffuse that out using golden ochre in a slightly fluffier crease brush, also by NYX. So what I like to do is just repeat that step a couple times, keep layering it on and blending, and that will look really bright yellow if you leave it like this, depending on like what other colors you use with it. I am going Going to blend some deeper shades into it just to make sure it's a nice soft glow around the eye. I'm gonna work in Burnt Orange, which is one of my favorite transition slash crease colors, and I'm putting that right underneath the yellow shade, and then I'm gonna blend that out with a mixture of Golden Ochre and Chickadee that we just used. As I start to work closer to the lid, I wanna bring in some rustier orange tones. So I am going to go in with Realgar, which is a beautiful, beautiful shade. Basically, I love all the shades in this palette. Just applying it, blending it out, and then layering on more and blending again until I get the desired intensity. And then I wanna take Fudge by Anastasia, which is a nice, rich brown, and just lightly feather that into the outer corner of my eye. And again, just mixing the colors that I used before. I'm gonna mix Realgar and Burnt Orange to blend that, and then just go back over everything, give it a once over with Chickadee. So I still need to blend out that outer corner, but it's gonna give me an opportunity to slide one more color in there. So I'm gonna use this one called Wait For It. It's actually just called Wait For It. It's by ColourPop and it is a dusty coral. So it works perfectly in the crease or the outer corner of the eye. So I'm really gonna focus that just in that outer part versus blending it in with everything else. So you can really see it and it's really visible. Then I'm taking more of that fudge shadow on a flatter crease brush and I'm just scooting that all across the lid to darken that up and just sort of working it slowly across. I'm also gonna work Cypress Umber from the Modern Renaissance palette into the outer corner of the eye and sort of on the outer part of the upper lash line just to smokeify it even more. So the next step I'm a little torn about. I don't think you guys have to do this to achieve this look, honestly. I was just taking some of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer again and applying it with a flat concealer brush to the center of my eye just to make the color that I wanted 
on the center pop even more. I think you could get the same effect by applying it wet, so you might wanna skip this. Then I'm gonna take this shade by Makeup Geek. It is called Flamethrower, and it is a fiery copper shadow. I'm just applying it on top of that concealer that I put down right onto the center of the lid and then darkening the areas on either side again with some more of those brown shades. I'm gonna take care of any harsh lines in the outer corner from the darker shadows we put down just by using that Wait For It shadow again, that coral shade. Then I'm gonna take the Marc Jacobs Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayon in the shade Fine Wine. This is a hot, fiery red. After I've applied that into the waterline, I'm gonna take some of Venetian Red. I'm gonna use it to set that liner and sort of blend it into the outer third of the lower lash line. And I'm going to diffuse that out with some of this brighter, this is actually sort of a peachy coral shade, again by ColourPop, it's called Centerfold. I'm just using that to diffuse everything and this is a smaller Real Techniques brush. To make sure that lower lash line is blended out, I'm going over it with golden ochre just around the edges and then dipping into, I think that's Love Letter. Yes, it is a Love Letter, a brighter fuchsia that is going just right along the lash line. For the glow in the inner corner of my eye, I'm gonna mix Purple Horseshoe and Pink Heart from the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit and just keep swirling that around the inner tear duct to just make sure it's nice and bright and glowing. After I've cleared away any fallout that I may have with a makeup wipe, I'm gonna be taking the Tarte Brighter Days Highlighting Moisturizer. I love this, especially to sort of rehydrate my skin before I put on my foundation and sometimes I'll just focus it more on my cheekbones or any areas that I wanna be more glowy. And using my current favorite Dior, Dior Skin Forever foundation in a mixture of shades 20 and 30 and applying that with my beauty blender sorry that the camera is a little wobbly here I didn't realize I was resting my foot on the camera tripod it does stop in a bit so sorry if I make you slightly motion sick in the meantime but I'm going to take my Tarte shade tape concealer in the shade light medium that's my favorite shade I like to use under my eyes and just any areas around the face I want to highlight and then blend that out using my beauty blender again And I decided to do a cream contour today because I haven't done that in a while and I just thought, what the heck. I am using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in uh, the shade Almond. I love this shade because it is just nice and neutral and um, it's not too deep. It just gives a little hint of contour on my skin tone, which is nice because I don't have to spend all day trying to blend out a much darker shade than my skin tone, so I really like that. Gives a natural look. And then I'm going to set my under eyes with my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. I didn't let that bake for too long today. I just swept it away and then filled in my brows. I've been using a new brow pencil, you guys, and absolutely loving it. It is by Lancome, and it is the brow expert in the shade 101 Blonde. I think I've mentioned before in a recent videos, but I've been having trouble finding a brow pencil that is the right shade because my hair just keeps getting lighter and lighter and a lot of the blonde tone brow products are just super, super ashy. So this one is a great color. It's nice and pigmented and creamy. I just, I'm so obsessed with this right now. I'm using my MAC Studio Finish Concealer on an NC20 on a little angle brush just to add a highlight underneath my eyebrows and clean them up. And then I'm gonna set that with some more of that tempera eyeshadow. At that point, if I look at my eyebrows and I feel like they need to be softened up even more, I will set them with the Anastasia Brow Gel in the shade Blonde. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set my foundation using the MAC Studio Finish Powder in the shade NC35 in the center of my face and then NC42 just around the outer edges, sort of in the same areas where you would put your bronzer. Lately, I've been doing my highlight before my bronzer and what I like to do before that is give my face a nice spritz of MAC Fix Plus that will sort of make your foundation look more natural but also dampen the skin so when you go to apply your highlighter, it's just gonna blend right onto the skin, sort of like a cream product and be a bit more intense. I am using my Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter with this Luxie brush. And then what I'll do is I'll apply my bronzer around the face and blend it into that highlight. And I'm using my MAC Gimme Sun on this Morphe brush. It is the M527. And I like that look because it sort of gives more of a glowy bronze when you blend that bronzer into the highlighted areas a bit and apply it second. I just feel like it gives more of a illuminated sort of natural sun kiss look.
Then I have a brand new out of the box MAC blush to use today. This one is Gingerly, which is a warm beige tone. And then I can touch up that highlight if I've lost any of that like whoop cha Gotta put that back. Add some Benefit Their Real Mascara. And for my false lashes today, I wanted to use some oldies but goodies, the Ardell Wispies. Usually once my concealer is all done and set, I will sort of touch up that inner corner highlight just to make sure it really shows up. And then I'm ready for my lip colors, and this is a great shot of me applying my lip liner. I know you can really see it, right? This one is by MAC. This is stripped down. Then after that, I'm gonna use one of my mm, old school faves, I would like to call this. This goes way back from when I first started wearing MAC makeup. I used to love the Creme de Nude lipstick. Then I'm gonna use the Ultra Glossy Lip from the I Love Sarai and ColourPop collaboration in the shade Curvy. This is the most perfect creamy nude peach gloss, but it gives you that glowy nude lip look because it has some pink shimmer in there too. So that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I wanted something that could kind of work for the end of summer meets fall season. So I feel like copper and smoky eyes and sunset colors sort of all work together really well. I hope you guys thought so too and I hope you like this look. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!